he got it. Longevity, yeah, he got it. <laughs> Jameson morning show gospel show you are in just in you are just in for a treat okay I am excited I'm ignited about what's going to happen on this morning again I want to welcome you I am Teresa Jameson with the Teresa Jameson morning gospel show we have an awesome group I want to bring to you before we go into our sponsors just to get you excited to get you pumped up with the music it's the anointed friends and it's called it's going to be all right. We are the group friends, and we just come to encourage you that no matter what the situation is, it's going to be all right. No matter what you're going through, it's going to be all right.
Savannah Kennedy and I am the proud author of When We Were Young. My book explores how a young woman overcomes an environment that dictates that she should have a baby and a DSS budget, but she wanted better for herself. Through the years, she became a college graduate. She excelled and she did not allow her environment to pull her down. 
Mothers learn from this book that a child with a made-up mind can overcome any obstacles to their dreams. Remember, our children must prevent their own forest fires. Awesome video, my goodness. I know you are waving your hands. I know you're excited about God. I know you're excited about the things that he is going to see you through. Not only the things that he's going to see you through, the things that he's already brought you through. Somebody ought to say, thank you, Lord. Somebody ought to say, thank you, Jesus. Somebody need to wave their hands right up in there because when you think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he has already done for you, that's right, you need to just wave your hand and say hallelujah I thank God for saving me because he's an awesome God and he's worthy to be praised I came to encourage you just for a few minutes on this morning when we talk about God can see you through just take a little jaywalk on some stuff that he's already done for you because you know for a fact that some of the stuff that God has brought us through some of the things that he has brought us out of it was nobody but the Lord. Again, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? He is an awesome God. Amen. He's worthy to be praised. And that's rather you feel like it or not. Sometimes we get up and you don't feel like praising him. You don't feel like putting up your hands. You don't feel like shouting and saying hallelujah. But you know what God is able to do. You know what he's brought you through. You know what he's brought you out of. And you know what you're waiting for him to do. He's not a, 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 a slack concerning his promises like some men are. He's not slack concerning. He has not forgotten about you. I'm here to encourage somebody. Don't throw in the towel. Don't give up just yet because he's still God. Think about the things that, 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 that he, 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 he's, he's already done. Think about the prayers that he's already answered. Don't let me get excited up on here because he's an awesome God. When you feel like throwing in the towel, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Because it's much like when God gets ready to bless. It's much like a woman that's in labor. When the pain begins to be the greatest is when the baby is about to be born. And sometimes we have what we call Braxton Hicks contractions. When you go to the doctor and you call those false labor pains. So which means the baby is not ready to be born yet. And sometimes we'll go at the doctors thinking that it's time because guess what? The time, you, you, you can't really keep up with it. But when the baby is about to be born, the timing of the labor is consistent. Somebody stick with me. I'm going somewhere. The timing of the labor is consistent. And sometimes we, 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 we're getting ready to go into an area where God is about to bless. He's about to take you into something big. And before we get there, there's going to be trials along the way. There's going to be tests along the way. There's going to be temptation along the way. But we can't push quite yet because it's not time for the baby to be born. And, and when, you, when you think it's baby, it's time to be born. When you go to the hospital, the doctor said, not yet. It's not time. The head is not crowning yet. It's not time to give birth. So now God is saying, you're in a place right now where you think that the pain is rough, when you think that the pain is tough. He said, but what I need you to do is start timing that pain. Huh? Somebody might say, what do you mean by that, Teresa? Start timing that pain. Because if the pain is inconsistent, that means the baby is not ready to be born yet. That means something bothered you yesterday at about 10 o'clock, then bothered you that night at about 1030. And then the next time, about 11, 11, 30, something started happening again. See how it's inconsistent. But when you begin to look around, and every time you look around at this time, at this certain day, at this time, at this certain day, things will begin to happen, and it's a pattern. Mm, 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 mm. That means get ready, baby. Get ready to, for the doctor to come on the scene. Get ready for the baby to be born because now you can time this thing. Now you know that it's time to push. And as a matter of fact, here's another one. When you get ready to go to the doctor and it is time, the doctor says what? Don't push yet. Just take, just, just breathe. Don't push yet because we're not ready. And it seems like it's so hard for you not to push. But you have to breathe along with the what? Contractions. Ah, my God, who am I talking to on this morning? You have to breathe when the contraction comes in order to keep you from pushing what? Pushing past your place in God. Pushing past all of that stuff where you know that you don't need to push past because you got to think, think, think that if you push right now, it could damage what's about to come out. Come on, somebody. 
So the doctors tell you don't push yet because it's not quite time for you to push. So you sit there and you get the rhythm in, down and packed. So you get this, he said, breathe in your nose and then out of your mouth. And, 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 and sometimes when we try to keep the rhythm of breathing in our nose and then out of our mouth, we get caught off track. But at this season, somebody, whoever I'm talking to, I need you to take your time and just breathe. Just take your time and breathe. And while you're breathing, think. Think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's already done. Think about what you're about to go through. Because see, the pain that you're, you're challenged with right now, the pain that you're going through right now is nothing compared to the birthing that's about to take place. Come on, somebody. All before, you used to, you used to push. And it pushed you right on past your place in God. But now we're not going to push. We're going to breathe through this thing. Because God is opening up doors, big doors, great doors that no man can shed. And he's shedding doors that no man can open. I need you to take a deep breath. I need you to take a look around you. I need you to begin to examine yourself. I need you to know when it's time to push. Amen. Amen. So then, here it is. We're still in the labor room. We know that it's time. It's that the time is drawing now. We know that the, the pains are getting more excruciating. We know that it's coming now. It's not this day at this time. Now it's coming, what? Every couple of hours. Now it's, mm, my God, now it's time for you to start timing it. You know how it is, mothers. You know how it is, fathers, when you were in, in there, when, you were, when your significant other was getting ready to give birth. And the doctor said, you call the doctor. The doctor said, no, not yet. Let, let, let's give it a little bit closer. And so all of a sudden, now you can time that pain that's coming consistent at a certain time. And you can say, okay, it, it's, it's been every 20 minutes. So you do that countdown. Okay? You, you're doing good. You're laughing and you're talking. And all of a sudden, this thing that's in your mind that's bothering you begin to come up. That person that has been causing all kind of happening in your life. Now they're coming, they're consistent. They're really trying to bring you down. They're really trying to take you out. Now you got to do it, time it. Come on, don't, 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 don't stress yourself. Time yourself. So now this thing is coming every 10 minutes. And then all of a sudden you're watching, you're watching, you're breathing because you're breathing because you don't want to do what? You don't want to push yourself past your place in God. Now it's coming every five minutes. And all you got to do is keep breathing. Hey, my, my, my. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. And when the pain gets to the point where you feel like you can't take no more, y'all know that point. Y'all don't want nobody touching you. Don't, don't give me no eyes. Don't, don't, don't touch me. Move from by the bed. You're too close. All that, all of the stuff begins to get irritable because it's time to push. And when it's time to push, baby, I need you to shut your eyes and I need you to block everything around you. And I need you to look unto the hill from which cometh your help. Because all of your help is going to come from God. You have come too far, too long, and you have taken too much stuff to suck this baby up. Amen. That's when the doctors get to the point where you say, you said, I can't push. Ah, my, my, my. I can't push. The doctor said, yes, you can. Yes, you can. I need you to take a deep breath because you can push past this. And you say, no, I can't push. He says, yes, you can. So God is saying, you can push. You can do this. And you're telling God, I can't take no more. I, I, I'm going through too much. I feel like throwing it at the top. He said, no, -uh. no, no, no. Close your eyes and push. Push past the circumstances. Push past the people. Push past the pain and push into his very presence. Amen. And it'll be well worth it when you push. Amen. Again, the baby that's about to be born. And it's not a she or he, it's it. The anointing of God. The presence of God that's going to rest upon your life. The ministry that you've been pushing and sucking up and pushing before time. God is about to blow your mind. And there's something, and I'm going to end with this. There's something that after the baby is born, some men won't be able to experience, won't be, won't be able to, 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 to cap this. After the baby is born, the pain that you feel while you're going through labor is gone. Because you're going to be looking at this thing that God has brought into place that you thought could not and would not be done. He's going to blow your mind in this season. Amen, amen. Thank you for joining me on this morning. I just wanted to give you some words of encouragement. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Don't put your tail between your legs and run. Because what God is doing right now, he's going to blow your mind. A faith that can't be tested can't be trusted. 
So you push on into the presence of God. We have one more video that's available, amen, to, for you to look at, amen. And this video is called The Woman at the Well. Come and see a man. Again, videography, Mr. Samuel Pugh. I love you, appreciate you. Thank you for joining me on GGMV. I'm Teresa Jameson, your host. was a woman searching for something she couldn't tell. And every day she went down to draw deeper from the well. At a certain time every day she went empty and depleted. Drawing from the well, she knew it was something more that she needed. Visit us at Life Essential Spa. We offer a variety of services, such as facial treatment, waxing, and permanent makeup services. We also provide massage to relieve muscle pain to help you relax and improve your circulation. We're open at 9 a.m. Visit our website at lifemassage.com for appointments and availability, or call us at 912-712-8889. Ask about our couple special for a more shared, enjoyable experience. There's something about the moment when I wake up from my Just close my eyes cause I feel so blessed I get on my knees before I even get dressed And I thank him And I 
praise Him. 